Hey, how's it going everybody? Coach Angel here, financial physician. Hey, today we're going to talk about minimalism. And, you know, this is a subject that has been uh, really near and dear to my heart for the past year. We've been on a total minimalism journey and we've been just trying to minimize our lifestyle and trying to reach fire that much faster. And the way we do that is by eliminating things, just buying things that we don't really need. You know, a year ago, man, I was in, <laughs> I was in a whole other place in my mind. I was spending money like crazy um, for about a year and a half. I was uh, collecting stuff and, you know, we would just buy things just to buy things. And I've always been like that, you know, grew up really poor. And I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I didn't have much growing up. So, you know, once I started working and I was on my own and doing my own thing, I was like, dude, I, I, I worked hard. I deserve this. I'm going to go buy something. And I started out with music. And I, man, I had to have every CD, every new album that came out. You know, back then when CDs were a thing. Um, and, you know, I had to have it. And I would just buy it. And I had amassed a huge collection, over like 200, 300 different albums. And, um, and that's how it was. And then I, and then I migrated that to, to movies. And I just started collecting movies. And you know, I ha had to have every DVD. And it couldn't just be just the, the regular old DVD. No, it had to be the collector's edition. You know, the one that cost even more, you know. And I would pre-order stuff. You know, once Blu-rays started coming out as well. Just constantly pre-ordering the things. You know, and with Amazon. Oh, my God. Amazon has been very dangerous for me. But, um, you know, it was a real challenge. You know, because I just started would pre-order all kinds of stuff. And, you know, I'd have every time a movie, a new movie was, was coming out and it was announced, oh, I got to pre-order it, got to pre-order it, got to pre-order it. And it has to be the, the 4K edition and this and that. And then uh, about two years ago, I started collecting uh, Funko Pops. And if you don't know what Funko Pops are, go ahead, check them out. Actually, I'll put a, here's a picture of my collection. You can check it out. Um, but I amassed like, I don't know, over 1,500 of these things. And it started out, I got two free ones. Man, they got me. So, um, you know, I because I would buy so many movies, Disney, you know, buying a lot of Disney movies, I had a bunch of Disney points and rewards points. And, uh, you know, they advertise, oh, re redeem some of your rewards points. And they offer these cute little bobbleheads, you know, I think it was for Thor Ragnarok. I think Thor and the Hulk were my two first ones that I got from Thor Ragnarok. And I was like, wow, these are really cool. You know, what is this Funko? What, what is this company? What is it? Check it out. And, uh, Oh my God, I finally, you know, searched into it and I was like, look at all this cool stuff. Oh my God, I've been missing out for years. This stuff has been coming out. And so I started collecting. I started buying all these old ones. You know, I probably spent close to $12,000 in about a year. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a real challenge. I had a real vice. And, you know, but leading up to all that, you know, besides just the Funko Pops, I mean, we were just, we spent money like crazy. We'd buy all kinds of things. We, oh, we got to have this and we got to have this thing and I got to have the nice stuff and I got to have, you know, tchotchke stuff and this and that and the kids want this and I want my wife wants this and I want that and just I want, I want, I want. And it really got us into a real, real bind. And we just, one day just like we're, we're completely in debt. You know, if you want to hear my story, I think I, I have a video about that, my debt journey is, and we're completely in debt and, you know, we make good money, but we have no money at the end of the month. At the end of the month, there's just too much month left at the end of our money. And so we're, you know, we're broke. You know, we're not poor, but we're broke. We, we just, we're just spending all our money. And, uh, you know, completely in debt. All our money's going to payments. And we're spending money like crazy. You know, our, our, our food bills are super high. And we're buying, you know, going out to eat all the time. And we're constantly just buying stuff online. I mean, I would just have packages and packages and packages just showing up on my doorstep. Hey, listen, I see some of my neighbors out here. They are still doing the same thing. I get it. It's so easy to get caught up. My mom had a client. My mom, you know, she has her own house cleaning business. And, uh, you know, I'd go once in a while to help her out just to do certain things or whatever. Or, or, you know, her clients would give her stuff and like, hey, Angel, I need you to come and help me load this thing into the truck or whatever, you know. And uh, so I would go to her house and her, one of her clients, man, she had a real spending, spending habit. Um, and she would just have boxes and packages stuff that she wouldn't even open and my mom would ask her like oh what's in that box what, what is it she's like i don't even know and she just had this huge spending problem you know she had money she just you know would just spend it like crazy but anyways so last year finally god gets a hold of our lives gets a hold of my heart and we're like hey what are you doing why are you living like this this stuff is not going to bring you fulfillment this stuff is not going to make you content and so as I started on my personal development journey, we started getting out of debt. 
And we started to look like, why do we have all this stuff? Why do, what are we buying? What are we spending our money on? And we just started looking at it. So, you know, I, I had watched The Minimalism. Guys, if you don't know, if you've never seen that, the, that movie, check it out. I think it's on Netflix or something, but The Minimalists. And, uh, you know, that helped open my eyes. You know, this this whole movement, um, you know, tiny houses and all this stuff, and just learning to live without. And now as we're learning about fire and teaching fire and coaching people through fire, how to get to fire, if you don't know what fire is, the fire movement, videos about that, you know, at the bottom of this link or at the end of this video, I'll, I'll post the, uh, the video to, to the fire movement, what's it all about. But that's a big thing, okay, is learning to live off of less. If you're making a certain amount, you should learn to live off of 50 or even 30% of what you're bringing home. And that will help you to invest and save for the future and start to invest in assets that are going to be giving you passive income. So you can not work if you don't want to. You know, you know, one of the things about minimalism that, that I think at the core of the whole thing, right, it's not about getting rid of everything. It's not, it's not about just, oh, I got to get rid of everything. You know, I mean, look, I have nice stuff, okay? But it's about being content. Learning to be content with where you are, with what you have. And learning that you don't need stuff to make you happy. You don't need stuff to bring you joy. You know, and the stuff that we do have, the stuff that we've kept, and the things that we do buy, it's because it brings us value. We value it. We, we, it fulfills our lives in some way, shape, or form. It gives us joy. And that stuff doesn't give us joy. That's not what I'm saying. But what it does is it just, it, it helps you focus. You know, like, you know, we bought plants. I have plants. I love plants. You know, our house was, our house was very empty. And I was like, you know what? Let's get rid of all the junk. You know, let's put plants. I love being outdoors. I love the green. I love being in nature. You know, that's why we, lo we love living where we live. Um, because there's so many trees everywhere and they plant trees and, and, and I love foliage. I love being outdoors. We love going camping. So I could just bring some of that inside, you know. And so, you know, I bought this nice plant, you know, and I planted it myself and did all that. But see, it brings value to me. And it cleans the air and it's, it's good for the home and it helps bring serenity to our home. Now I come out here and I, I do my meditation in the morning and my devotional time and it just feels great. The house is clean. There's a lot less clutter. You know, I mean, we have a baby, so, you know, there's definitely some stuff around once in a while, but, but we're learning and we're teaching our kids how to live like this. Hey, guys, you don't need to buy all that stuff. You know, like before I would give my kids, you know, they'd earn their money and their commissions and whatnot, but they'd always, you know, have money and they're like, oh, I got to go spend it. Dad, take this store, I want to spend it. And so as they've seen us start to take control of our spending, and now we've been able to, you know, really get ourselves under control and stick to a budget. And now we have excess money and we have money in savings and money we're investing for the future, investing in, in uh, you know, policies that are going to help us out and getting to fire. And our kids see this and we keep driving that message home. Now I go look in their jars, you know, and they have, a, they have three jars as we've been teaching these kids since they were little. You have your giving jar and you have your savings jar and you have your spending jar. And, you know, we're trying to teach these principles. And now I see like their jars are full. They have money. You know, because I've been paying them interest. I say, hey, okay, you got to have whatever you have in your savings, I'm going to pay you interest. And so every, every month or whatever, I might go and I pay, my, I pay them 10% or in some cases 20%. And so they see that now. So what do they want to do? They want to stuff their savings, you know, a jar. And it's amazing to see that now because they're not just so focused. Oh, I have money. I want to go spend it. Now I look at my son's wallet. He's got money in there. My, my daughter's wallet. There's money in there. And they're not so like gung-ho about going and spending the money. Whereas before they would have, that's, that, that's what I was modeling to them. That's the, the way that they were coming out. So, look, little changes. Your mindset needs to change. And that understanding that stuff doesn't bring you happiness. And learning to be content with what you have and where you are. You know, and it's not just about, you know, staying stagnant in, in your situations. It's about moving forward and progressing. And getting rid of things. Getting rid of that mentality of things I need things to make me happy. I need things to fulfill myself. Like, and we're believers, right? We believe in Jesus Christ. And we believe that, you know, he's the true fulfillment. When you're serving God and when you're serving others, and you're learning to give back, and you're learning to be generous, there's no greater sense of fulfillment. If you really want to feel fulfillment, you really want to feel content, try giving. Try serving someone else. 
try giving to your local charity or some organizations that's doing amazing things. Like I, I love Charity Water. If you're not familiar with that organization, look up Charity Water, the, the spring. Um, you see the mess, you see what they're all about. I, I love organizations like that. I love serving, uh, you know, working hard and, and being able to give back. And, you know, like our church, our organization, you know, Calvary Chapel, San Juan Capistrano. You know, we're doing amazing things and we're putting the message out there and we're preaching the gospel. And, you know, for us, that's what we're all about. That gives us joy and that gives us happiness. So we're more than happy to help and, and with our giving and whatnot, you know. And then you, we don't need to talk about what the numbers are or anything like that. But just know that that's what gives me fulfillment now. And I have extra to give. And it's, like, amazing. It's amazing. It's such an amazing feeling. And so I want to challenge you. What are you really spending your money on? How are you living and are the things that you're consuming content or stuff like, let's face it our, our, our society is all about consumerism right you're a consumer this is what we're breeding consumers you know maybe you need to take a step back and really evaluate what is it you're spending your money on and again minimalism it's, you know it's not about just getting rid of your stuff right it's, but it's learning to streamline your life Streamline how you're living, how your house is set up. I mean, there's no greater feeling when I come into my home and it's clean. There's no junk lying around. There's not all a bunch of stuff all over the counters because we've gotten rid of it. Like we just we don't need it. It doesn't it doesn't do anything for us. It doesn't give us joy or fulfillment. But our house seems so full. It's it's so full. Like there's just so much love and joy and peace. The peace that we have is just amazing. So I challenge you. Do a self-assessment. Where are you at, really? And maybe you just need help. You know, as a life and financial coach, this is, this is you know, what I'm trying to teach people. And so if you need help, reach out. Sometimes maybe you just need a little guidance. You just need a, someone to kind of, you know, point you in the right direction. And so we're here to help. I appreciate you all. Check out The Minimalist. I think you might like that. Pick up a book. Check out Marie Kondo, right? Learning how to how to declutter and all that stuff and getting rid of things. I'm sure you have find, find plenty of videos out there on YouTube and whatnot. You know, just go check it out. Start learning about this and learning to be content. And if you're not a believer, you know, I strongly encourage you to really seek the Lord, seek the truth of, of who God is and what Jesus has done for you and me. And I think that'll help bring clarity to your mind. So uh, with that, I, I love you all out there. God bless you. May God richly bless you. May you find true fulfillment in him and that you would just declutter your life and do the things that bring you true joy, serving, giving. There's no greater feeling, guys. So with that, I love you. God bless you. I'll see you all later. This is Coach Angel, the financial physician, talking about men. Have a great day.